Today we're in Millersburg, Indiana, and we're going to go look at the plant where they make Geo Pros and E Pros by Rockwood and Flagstaff. So let's go on in and see what we can find. So yeah, this is where everything starts. You know, our, our frames come in from Lipper. They're one of the, you know, our biggest suppliers and a lot of other manufacturers' biggest suppliers um, of a lot of components. So yeah, they, they do a lot of frames around here and they, they do frames for us. Uh, steel powder coated frames. And then what we're putting on here is our Dexter Torsion Tour Flex Axle. So this is not a leaf spring system. Each tire, um, as it's a, a double axle here, is gonna, um, act independently from one, one another right. there. Um, and so th there's a rubber cushion in there which eliminates any metal to metal contact and you know it takes a lot of vibration out of you know driving down the highway there. And yeah front um, and rear brakes. Yep. Yep. And so yeah I mean a lot of people are using that leaf spring axle you know us and Airstream and horse trailers we, we, we kind of move toward this Dexter torsion axle and you feel it gives the trailer a better ride there so that's something that, that we do that not many other people do right now it's a lot less maintenance too oh yeah yep. have, on yep. the leaf you have to yep. change shackles every so often right yeah we hear people mentioning that you have the dexter axle mm -hmm. you know, they bring that up in other videos right right yeah. yep, it's a yep. Big and deal these there. are it yeah firsthand so i mean yeah when you hit those potholes you know one's going to go in and one's going to stay on the road rather than getting that bouncing effect and so it all it all kind of works out better there but yeah we can continue on down here to our floors tell you what kind of goes into these bad boys they look really strong don't they oh yeah and you have the corner jacks on all four corners right yep yep on some of our bigger units it's the, the electric jacks but on the geo it's the manuals all right yeah all right so it's probably in. i don't know we... so anywhere we're gonna have aluminum so this is an aluminum frame darko moisture barrier um, underneath it and then our batten insulation is thrown down um, aluminum frames thrown right on top of that and then our 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood flooring um, is what we're using now more of a residential grade we used to laminate floors for a long time a lot of a lot of our competitors still do that um, but with that laminated floor we found that in in high traffic areas over a long period of time you know you're gonna get those soft spots in RVs so um, we, we figured out there was a better way to do things, and so that's why we're putting in this, this new tiny roof um, plywood flooring. And, you know, it's going to be stronger and sturdier over time, and something that we feel um, makes us different than, than the rest of the crowd here. And then you have a, a, a moisture barrier wrapped yeah, around. Darko moisture um, and vapor barrier. That's going to go down. Batten insulation rolled out. Aluminum frame right on top of that. Plywood right on top of the aluminum frame. And then your linoleum on top of that. And where are these, these nuts and bolts are? Like, yep. Did y'all start doing like a uh, locking bolts on them, locking nuts or something? Yep, so they should be under. Yeah. Let's see. No, these haven't been bolted down, but these should be up Okay. Here. Um, but anywhere where we're going to be putting lag bolts or screws into that aluminum, we are putting wood inserts in there. So you're not just crushing the aluminum. Um, you know, when that bolt goes in, it's going to grab onto that wood too, and that's going to be a, a tighter fit for you. Yeah, I mean, from here to scoring the wiring, our tanks, actually we're putting our tanks on back there too, and what we're doing standard now is our 12-volt feeding pads on all of our tanks. Okay. So that's going to be thermostatically controlled. It's going to kick, once you turn that, that tank heater on, it's going to kick on under 40 degrees and kick off over 60 degrees. So that's going to heat your tanks, and it's on your your black tank, your gray tank, and your fresh water. What are you know other people doing? They're flipping their furnace over, and they're just blowing hot air um, through their underbelly. Right. And you know what's the problem with that? You can't heat your tanks while you're driving down the road. With this, you're plugged into your tow vehicle. It's a 12 volt system, so you're going to be able to heat your tanks. Um, you're also just kind of wasting LP. If you don't need to heat your tanks, it's not that cold of a night. Right. Um, when you turn your furnace on, it's, it's going to heat your underbelly as well. So you're, you're kind of wasting LP. So we, we like to hang our hat on that 12 volt system. It's something we moved to this year too. And then yeah, you're start building out our interior here. So, you know, toilets are going in, side walls are going in. Um, you know, wiring still being constructed. Anywhere where you're going to find um, 
aluminum, you're gonna have a weight bearing structure. So your bed frame and your dinette's all gonna be aluminum. Um, anywhere that's gonna hold weight is, is gonna have that aluminum structure. Okay, here's, we're, we're, we're double bolting the, the lag nuts down. Yeah, sure. for a yeah. Feel free to get up yeah, in there, there to get anywhere you want. Yeah. Um, so these are 15 inch tires here. Um, if you see this little yellow stem, that indicates that we have a tire pressure monitoring system on this tire. So each tire um, is, has a sensor in it, um, and you have a monitor in your tow vehicle. It's going to give you heat, your heat and your tire pressure for each tire. Um, so, I mean, eliminating low tires, eliminating blowouts, um, you know, when that tire gets over a certain temperature, um, that's all going to be indicated on your monitor and in your tow vehicle. And that's a TST brand, I think. Yep, 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 TST. Yep, so it'll be, it'll be a bed frame, front bedroom, it looks like. Alright. And you got a uh, water filter on all yep, of them? Yep, yep, water filter on all of our, all of our trailers there, too. And there's your water pump. Yep. Wiring, plumbing. I don't know if you could get it up there, but a lot of our plumbing is going to be pre-assembled, like our, you know, sidewalls and cabinets. Just eliminating that human error on the line, having less pieces to put together rather than putting a pre-assembled piece on, screwing it down where it needs to go and off to the next station. And also gives those the, the pipes time to dry. You know, you're putting glue on those pipes and, and putting, you know, that, that stuff together and it's not trying to glue while it's going down here not trying to, to dry while it's going down the line. More piping system. Porcelain toilets too. So we used to use plastic, now we're using porcelain. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Geo Pros all. Yep, yep. That's great. I like that. Must be, must be a dinette that's going to go in here. So, so. Side holes. You guys know much about our side holes? We're using our fiberglass piece and then double sided Asdell on both sides of our, our aluminum frame there. So this is the Asdell. Yeah, this That's is Asdell right. and there's another piece in there on the other side of our interior wall and we're going to vacuum seal all this together. So it goes to our vacuum bond machine. It's going to suck all the air out, allow that glue to really penetrate the, the block foam and all of the material there, rather than a paint tray, which a lot of people use. We, uh, we spend a lot of money on our vacuum lamination machine and, and we like to think it's a better quality product and you know less delamination over time at least. What is Asdil? Is it like waterproof or something? Yeah, yeah, it's that? water resistant, waterproof. Um, we use Luon, that, that Luon probably went on our bigger stuff. Um, it's stronger over a longer distance. Um, but yeah, we, we, we like this Asdil, it's water resistant. It's, that does the job for these trailers. And like in the showers, the walls are made of the same material. Is it like waterproof? Um, so there's kind of the, the shower okay. system there that you can take a look at. Yeah, we're thinking it's got like that plastic. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, it might be, yeah. This must be bringing the water too. Because, yeah, like usually in like our pop ups, I think it's that same material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is for our, our normal oh, yeah. shower. Yeah. So, putting our appliances in. What's that? The one with the Murphy bed up front, I guess. The ones that we really like. Oh, the 19 uh, FD? F okay, yeah. yeah. We can, let me grab this paper. We can kind of see what they're built for. Right I'm not good enough yet to just uh -huh. know what the floor plan is. I, uh, yeah. I'm pretty new here. But... This is kind of interesting. This is okay. That's a bed. Yeah, it looks like we're doing the 20 FDS, FBS right this now. This is a fixed bed. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and that's all your storage. Right. And that's just temporary holding that up until yeah yeah that's that's not gonna stay no. <laughs> <laughs> that's just yeah a, you can tell that's been used a few exactly times. Oh, that's got good. a little that's bit of cost effective reusing it yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and you can see the the welding on the aluminum in here yeah double-sided aluminum 
aluminum is strong but light, right? Yeah, and that's why I mean, it's going to be a little more money, but it's stronger and it's lighter rather than over wood. So. Yeah. And I mean, be wood, they right, right. And if you go, go to a lot of competitors, lift up their bed frame, you're going to find wood. Lift up their dinette, you're going to find wood. And we like to go, we call it the Millersburg Extra Mile. So any little thing we can do to, to add a little better quality or whatever the customer is going to like, um, we're going to do it here. Yeah. We, we believe in our, our units. So. Yeah, I, I do like the aluminum uh, st yep. structures on there. Six side aluminum, aluminum roof, aluminum floor, back wall, front wall, and side wall too. And a lot of people will cut corners and throw a, a wood roof on or um, wood other places, but we like to use all aluminum. Yeah, that's our, our radiant foil barrier. So that's just adding that little extra insula insulation value. Plus your block foam. Yep. The only time you'll see the batten insulation is on the floor. Okay. So yeah, we, we like to use block foam in the sidewall so it's not, you know, it doesn't get moisture in there. Right. Yeah, that's all the aluminum. Here's a roof over here. Yep. So there's your roof. Kind of look at the material there. We got yeah. the blue on plywood on the on the top. It's curved too, so yep. mm -hmm. and it, it adds a lot of clearance. We do the, the two piece roof system because our, our lamination machine doesn't do the curvature that we want it. So we have to do it in two pieces to kind of give you that extra headroom. Yeah, which is a good right. And you can see the uh, it looks like it has pretty good insulation in the roof. Oh, yeah. It's it's pretty uh, yeah, that's going to be thick. I mean, think of your uh, your McDonald's, you know, coffee mm -hmm. cup. That, that's going to be pretty thin, and it, and it doesn't burn your hand when you're holding that cup. And, yeah. yeah. You know, we use two, three inches of it. Yeah, there's a good view of the of the opening right there. So, that's like, that's pretty deep. No, yeah. Well, or the... the um, Insulation, yeah. yeah. We buy the curved pieces. Oh, you do? Yeah, okay, curved yeah. insulation. Yeah, okay, right. yeah. yeah. Well, make yeah. what you need, I guess, right? And then we're gonna put our TPO material, TPO composite mm -hmm. material on top. It's already UV treated. All you need to do is wash it a couple times a year and check your seals on your roof. And that's pretty much all the maintenance is up there. Is that a 20 year product or 12 year warranty? 12 year, yeah. Okay, yeah. 12. I mean, they don't plan on you know fixing it anytime soon. <laughs> It's a pretty good stuff. We might be able to get our hands on it. It's up here. I don't know where they keep that in this plant. But yeah, once you get the side walls on and the roof, it's pretty much just still building out that interior, running wires, um, getting your appliances in. We got a front front caps up here. Okay, look at that. Yeah, those. Yeah, we're going all all windows now standard on that oh, front really? cap. Yeah, fiberglass front cap with the automotive grade windshield. Oh, no more yeah, you got If you got a ring on, you can give it a nice tap. You'll know that's an automotive glass there. Yeah. Okay. So no more, even on the smaller ones, they're all going to have a window? Oh, well, not the not the 15 TV, I don't think. Yeah, so because, mainly on the bigger ones. I, I, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, but some of the smaller ones, yeah. Because it has a bathroom in the front. Right, yeah. Yeah, the bathroom would make know, it off-center. Yeah, I don't think the 12 SRK, which is like No. It's in the with the 15. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but then, I mean, we got these trusses in place so people can you know put glue on the roofs to put that material down looks like that's our material hanging out i don't know if there's any scrap pieces we can play with yeah. yeah and so there's a nose going on yep and you have a okay, so is that easier than to have to make some without windows and some with windows Got a diamond plate in front there. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's easier or not. I, mean, I think we just kind of listen and a lot of people enjoy that window. Yeah. Uh, especially if you have a front kitchen or oh, something yeah. and you're doing dishes and you can look out and see the campground. Uh, or if you're parked at a Cracker Barrel or Walmart, yeah. you can look and see your truck. Yeah, and you can <laughs> see uh, see what's going on on here. Yeah. yeah so this is 
is our roof material that we're using up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. The TPO yeah. composite stuff. Pretty stout. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I mean, o over the, the, the entire roof, that's going to be right. solid material for you. If they want this, I can probably throw that away. <laughs> Alright. We're reusing that. But yeah, I mean, headed down. We can take mm -hmm. a look at our side or our slide out. And you're all LED tail lights in the back. Right. And so during production, anywhere where workers are going to be working and walking and putting tools down, we're going to put these, these pieces of wood. Just so, you know, taking that air out of scratching the, the linoleum, um, whatever, maybe dropping a, a drill. Um, and puncturing the, the linoleum. Exactly. Yeah, just a risk. Right. I'm trying to take as much risk out of the mm -hmm. process as possible. This is like a working bed. No, no, that's just a bed. Yeah, exactly. if it was a Murphy, there probably wouldn't be the storage on there. Yeah, that's just a bed. It just kind of sticks out and gives you a little extra storage there. The couch will probably be here in the slide with a dinette. Right. All right, so we're, we're giving you, you know, the best axles in the game, the tire pressure monitoring system, good tires. Um, we're building a, a full aluminum box, and then we still don't cut corners with our slides. You know, this is going to be all aluminum, vacuum laminated, just like our sidewalls. Um, so we're putting a, a, a good box in, inside of a, a, a good box as well. So we're not going to take corners and, you know, not laminate these or, or use wood. So we're, we're building everything the exact same with the same material. And you got gear drive on top and bottom. Right. For most of them. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. And there's more of the... Yeah, that's the roofing material. Mm -hmm. All right. On there you got... You oh, got, yeah. Huh? What's windows. that? Uh, windows? windows? Yeah. They go right there probably. Our frameless windows. Mm -hmm. And here's some LED taillights that are all lit up. Yep, so I mean, we're, we're going to be plugging stuff in from here on out, checking AC, TV, any outlets, just making sure everything works. Um, and we're also going to be running water through all the pipes and all the lines just to make sure there's no leaks and everything's fitted correctly from here on out too. So we, we do a lot of inspection steps. From this point, you'll see until the end of the line where we're constantly inspecting and making sure they live up to our quality standards. And that's why it's all wet because they probably <laughs> ran a yeah. hosing. It looks like a, a gas handle sticking in there. <laughs> Joke with people, oh yeah, they're filling it up with gas. No, really? No. And then, then they'll think a second, oh wait, this is a travel trailer. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need gas. Okay, yep, the and gas? then they get gas? Put up, pulled out here. And then this is where you find out if it's a rockwood or a flag gap. This is where we're throwing the graphics on. So at that point, they're, they're nameless. At that point, other, I mean, we know what's being produced. It's mm -hmm. on the... But I mean, it could be know, either way. Yeah, but, yeah, but as, as a customer, someone observe, uh, observing, you do not know which which line it's going to be. So, looks like they're making some rock here. Yeah. Most important part of the process, the first thing you see is the graphics, right? So right. Mm -hmm. they got to be put on, right? Yeah. And as you can see at this point, I mean, we're still definitely not cleaned up. we got a lot of, a lot of things to clean up and install and, and finish up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like steps. Mm -hmm. And you got the screenshot on the door. Yep, yep, screenshot on the door. That's really nice. That, what is that, like a strut or something? Else? something to hold it, it? it pulls the door shut. Figure out how to open it. Oh, there we go. Wow, yeah. yep. Strut assisted, yep. Mm -hmm. Nice to look, nice to look. Putting our awnings on at this stage. And then if you want to get the, the pressure test, we're also pressure testing the, the LP valves and, and everything. All the propane. Yep. We got that. Most important part, we took all the food. Yep. <laughs> Stoves. Most important part for me. Microwave. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever cooks the food and I get to eat it, that's, that's what I enjoy. That's the best part. Yeah. So, I like the new ovens that they've come out yep. with. They look... 21 inch ovens, mm -hmm. I believe. They look really yeah. nice. Yeah. A little bigger than, you know, the industry standard mm -hmm. there. So you can get an oven plus a microwave, can't you? Yep, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Just more drawers if you don't get the oven. Um, I, I believe it'll be the same size, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. In, in most of, you know, the bigger units, the 50 TV, uh, I think we're using the same size oven, but yeah, you might have that option. 
Yeah. Yeah, because there's... They, they, yeah. they just look really fancy now, the ovens, the, the knobs right. and all this. And I mean, it looks more like a residential oven exactly. you have in your house rather than a, a cheap little RV oven. Yeah, old suburban or something. Right. <laughs> and the magic chef, like your yep. refrigerator is a magic chef. I like that they're 12, uh, what are they? Uh, 12, 12 volt compressor. Volt. Yep. Yeah, that's wonderful. So, yeah, yeah I mean, we're, we're going solar standard now in our 2022. So you're going to have the 190 watt panel with that 1,000 watt inverter. Um, you know, standard on your roof with your 12 volt fridge. So right, and that's that's a to me that's a big plus. Mm -hmm. I like the 12 volt compressor refrigerators. Right. I like having an inverter. Yep. Still putting ladders on these things. Mm -hmm. And this it sits pretty high. It's neat. You know, it's nice. It's yeah. And so there's a two and five eight inch clearance or little lift on our geos because they are more to that sporty looking mm -hmm. trailer um the sport tires and the, and the bigger 15 inch tires you know as well right just trying to give it that sporty outdoor feel mm -hmm. and so here all the all the tape you see is kind of our quality um, process there so any blemishes or cog marks that need to be cleaned off or any issues in general is going to be taped um, I'm not sure what if there's a color code scheme here but yeah because you got orange you got yep, green you yep. got blue and everything's gonna mean probably something different and you know it's gonna get taken care of farther down the line here this one looks like it's part of I mean they're they're not uh, they're they're picky with the tape too yes it looks yeah. like it yeah. I mean, it looks like a lot of it is just stuff that just needs to be cleaned off and washed off for a final time, too. Yeah, so just, just making sure, yeah, little, making sure people uh -huh. don't miss it down, yeah. the, down yeah. the way here. So is this your one interior color, I guess, now? They're all going to be this, which is a good color. Yeah, for the rock or the geos. Yeah. Yeah, for our bigger stuff, it's going to be that Newport Ash or Autumn Wood. So, yeah, this but is but a good. for our geos, it's just, you know, this is what we're going with. Nice. It's not dark. It's not light. It's just... It's kind of that, yeah, that neutral color. Yeah. Trying to please both sides of the spectrum there. Okay. All the units are, they come standard with that, that um, table and griddle. Right. So if you don't have that outside kitchen area, you still have that griddle to cook on, which a lot of people love. And I like a lot of the trailers, campers, they come with the, mm -hmm. the magnetic catches yep. now. That's right. a real nice touch. Yeah. I like that. I mean, it just looks sharp too. Mm -hmm. yeah, it doesn't look that bad. That little flipping, flipper yeah. plastic. Yeah, compared break. to what they used to be. Yeah. It looks like all the tapes have been pulled off. This has been all, all the little tape. Well, wow. things have been yeah, we're, we're, a lot of them. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> for the most part. For, for the most part. They they get a final bath down here before they head out. So this one probably has its cat. And this is by now. something we're putting in too. Just kind of reiterates how we how we produce these things and what materials we use and. You know the what different materials we use from our competitors there and it also acts as a, a nice doggy door so they're not scratching up that screen mm -hmm. so i heard yeah heard, heard the dog in the van he uh will enjoy this yeah spikes is uh give yeah. me something to scratch please yep, yep. he can scratch <laughs> this all he wants <laughs> yep. yeah. rather than the screen there so sofas mattresses and most of our appliances are put in you know, after the sidewalls are on. So if we can get it in, you can get it out. Um, and and okay. sofa and the stuff with leather is put in last, just so there's not people with um, tool belts on and drills scratching up that, that leather surface. We're gonna have to replace that too. So it just kind of reduces that risk. Um, final step we do, which is really cool, is we, we throw this door on um, and then we put this big tube tube on it and we blow blow air throughout the whole entire unit. We have a spray bottle with water and soap, and we'll pressure test all the seals. Um, so anywhere that where there's caulk around the windows, um, you know where the corners meet, any, everything's going to be be pressure tested there. And if it bubbles up, then we'll put some more caulk on there and fix it before it before it heads out. So, Good, yeah. So this one is about yep. done. Then. Yep, it's getting done. Everything's going to be weighed right here as well. That's, yeah, fix front bed. But, yeah. And it's got a curved shower on the top, which is nice. This is a 20 FPS. Yep. And then I see you put your slides on, your uh, your outdoor steps on. Yep, yep, put those on lashes so people aren't going up and down them and getting them dirty. 
and all your mattresses. And yeah, every every unit's gonna be weighed, and that that exact weight is gonna be on the inside of the door with the length of the trailer. There. Oh yeah. So yeah. each one has a different weight. Yeah, yeah, each one oh, has a different yeah. weight. Yeah. I mean, then, the floor plan should be pretty much identical, but I mean, we're we're, we're just giving you the exact weight rather than estimating. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, maybe one pound here or there. Right, which is not going to make a difference, but it's just nice to know exactly what your trailer weighs. Yeah. It shows you cared enough to find out. Right. You're not just <laughs> arbitrarily putting this weight on. Yep. And, and, and they're all weighed, so that's their dry weight. There's not going to be batteries in the battery pack, and the LP is going to be empty. So when you're configuring, you know, what can you tow, you're going to have to keep in mind you're going to put two pretty heavy batteries in there and you're going to have to fill your LP tanks up, which, which is going to be pretty heavy as well. So right. Just something to consider. And yeah, I mean, it looks looks clean and sharp at this point. And this is where it goes out to dispatch in our lot to be uh, picked up and, and shipped out. So at this point, it's it's ready to be delivered. At this point, delivered. it's ready, yep. And then the dealer, dealer will kind of tweak stuff and, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you option on, they can they can install there as well. So, but as a manufacturer, goes yeah all right let's see how many we ran today as well i think we actually the computer's off but i think we did 31 today. 31 units yeah 31 left right no we so yeah 31 left they yeah, yeah. yep so this will be one days. tomorrow yep mm -hmm. okay yeah because you could have 20 or 30 in queue at any time right right which right. is how fast they go out. how many days more or less does it take to do one Probably only a day or two. I mean, if you yeah. count count back thirty stations, that's yeah. that's about how many went out. So yeah, yeah. I mean, they they go up pretty quick. Our our guys, you know, they, they've been here for twenty, thirty, forty years. We have three oh, yeah. three generations of workers, and um, you know, they've been doing the same thing for all those years, and that that's why our quality is the way it is because they uh, they work their butts off and they know what they're doing. So so one guy will probably just do slides for mm -hmm. years at a time right. and i mean the more the young guys are on the line with the ha the fast-paced environment and the more labor intensive stuff and then as you get older and you know we reward you by putting you in assembly where you're just back there putting cabinets together less labor intensive you don't have to keep up with the line um and just you know as you get older you're not going to be one jumping in these things and moving <laughs> around as fast as these guys do so yeah yeah, yeah. little okay. agile guys oh yeah right mm -hmm. Well, it looks really nice at this point. This is like complete and ready to go and clean and shiny and mm -hmm. wow. Ready for you guys to hook it up and get out yeah, of here. Yeah, right? yeah. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> I'm on video though. So. <laughs> they don't last very long on the lots either. You know, you have, no. to, mm -hmm. you have to be cranking out 31 a day because right. we go look some on lots. Mm -hmm. They're gone in a couple days. Especially right now, demand is just crazy and, you know, no, no dealers really have many, many units on their lot right now. So, is it hard getting the components that you need? Oh yeah, I mean we'll we'll have shortages. We I think we probably have shortages today. So they'll they'll go wait in our in our campsite out there. Once those parts come in, we'll go out and install them and then get them on their way where they need to go. But I mean, as long as we we're not missing frames, axles, or tires, we're we're pretty much produced and then we're we're installing that stuff later. Right. I mean, obviously floors and sidewalls as well. But. Yeah. Um, but any, yeah, windows or baggage doors or little amenities here and there, we're, we're going to still produce. So. Yeah, because you always put a piece of plastic over a door opening if you right, need a door right. or something. Right, yep, and you'll see that out there. I mean, yeah, we got mouths to feed, so these guys like to work, and, you know, mm -hmm. we got uh, families to take care of, so. And the, the air conditioners, that's a Coleman? Coleman, yep. Mm -hmm. These are probably the 13.5 BTUs, mm -hmm. yeah, and we have the upgrade for the 15, but... I mean, we, we don't recommend that unless you're in a bigger travel trailer and that air's not going to circulate as well, so. Okay. Well, thank you for the tour. Yeah, we we really it enjoyed it. It was fun to hang out with you guys and yeah. just kind of show you what we do here in our GeoPro plant. Yes, yeah, so. it's, it's nice. It's, it's good to see the construction of them. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, part of my job is doing the tours, and I've been, I've been busy lately. A lot, of, a lot of people want to get in here and, you know, see how we make these, and they like to hold us to a high standard and make sure we're, we're doing everything the right way. So it's, it's been fun and enjoyable. Okay. Well, well thank you a lot. Yep. And uh, we'll probably end up buying one. Yeah, awesome. yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's on our short, short list, actually. Yep. A little yeah. 15 TB. Right. And, uh, okay. Well, hopefully I did some good convincing today. Yeah. 
Okay, well, thank you again. Yep. Thank All you, right. guys. Thank All right. You. Yep. Thank you.